Thank you to our friends at RTT Eyeweather for joining us as our title partners on Dano on Fire. Now, if you're someone who has aches and pains or you're feeling not so fit, you want to get the right expert with professional eyeweather specialists helping you through this process. Now, you don't need to go in search of this brand all the way to Anuradhapura. You can get it right here in the heart of Colombo, making it so much more easier. They also have these amazing tires. You can dine and enjoy some good quality food that's great for your gut. So why don't you check out Aditya Ayurveda today? Danu on fire, powered by. Celeste Daily, missing something? Celeste. I just say it. Welcome to Dano on Fire, right here on High TV, your luxury channel. Today I'm speaking to someone who is, ah, what can I say, loved and has entertained so many people. He has had sold out shows and he's all the way from Canada, uh, Sundar. Me. <laughs> Sundar's full name is really long, so I just decided to say Sundar V. Uh, he's a Tamil comedian who has really caught a space in this world of entertainment and comedy. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. So happy. I actually connected with him on Instagram, right? Yeah, that was my yeah, yeah. some time ago. And then coincidentally, you were here. And, and then your fans started tagging me. <laughs> they want me to meet you. I know. And then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, I'm, I'm so happy that I have somebody who understands the Tamil DNA that I speak. Yeah. So it's Jaffna Tamils are very different to every other kind of Tamils that yeah, you'll yeah. find. The type of personalities we have, we are quite inquisitive. We are in other people's businesses and we <laughs> That's every Tamil yeah, person. That's though. yeah, and we like to just be very blunt to the fits. It say it how it is. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So how how did you get into this? Like did you ever think that you were funny? I think I was always funny, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> no, I did a lot of hosting and a little of emceeing and things like that. Um, but I didn't venture into comedy until I came out uh, to, my, uh, to my family and stuff like that. Because comedy requires a level of authenticity. That is true. That, uh, and you can't lie about everything. No, you can't lie about everything. I mean, some actors and people do, but yeah. uh, I'm not that. <laughs> no what names, are the actors? No names mentioned. Oh my God, are they Canadian? They're powerful people. Oh. Uh, all across the world. Really? Yeah. Please spill the beans. <laughs> um, so then, so you, then you got on stage, and how was the feedback? Anyway, Canada has a lot of Tamil people to fill an audience. Tamil people in Canada, there's a lot. So the largest uh, population of Tamil pizza people, pizza, pizza. <laughs> they also sell pizza. Pizza, they sell pizza I know. too. Yeah. There are so many of them selling pizza. I know. Yeah. Uh, I need more coffee. But uh, <laughs> the largest population of Tamil people yeah. outside of Sri Lanka lives in Canada, mm. and then a majority of them live in Toronto and Scarborough, where I was born and raised, and so. Uh, that's why I speak the language so well, is yeah. because I grew up around Tamil people. Yeah. And, and that uh, is the complete, the, that's the Jaffna dialect, it's just perfect. That's that Unmayana Tamil. Other than, we took the Kalik one. For those who are Tamil, you will understand, there's always like a bit of a, it's like a song, like, yeah. if I have to say it in the more singular tone, it's like how you would have seen certain sectors of the singular community where they say, like yeah, it's it's the same thing yeah. in Tamil. It's like I'm the pan in the hundo and then I'm that. Because like there's always that little yeah. thing, and um, you have now grown to like having sold out shows. Do people get offended? Yes. Uh, no. Your I'm not parents' mean. generation. No, I think more and more older people are coming to my oh, shows, okay. which I appreciate a lot. I think there's nothing to be offended about if you're not meaning to hurt anybody and you're just yeah. talking your own truth and how you feel about things. Um, and I think uh, that's why it resonates with so many people. Right? Mm. Even if people are, you know, 
homophobic or racist or have their own preconceived notion about where I'm from, I could say it to their face and say it how it is and they'll be like, you know what, you're right or you're wrong, but they don't need to be upset about it. I'm not trying to change anybody's opinion. I'm just trying to say how I feel. You like it, you understand it, you feel it, that's good. Otherwise, we can agree to dis disagree. So there's no offense, there's no mean things that you say. There's no, I'm not looking to attack people or anything like that. I'm just talking about how I feel. So why should people get mad? Like in every, in every group of people, they're all, always the type that's a bit extreme. Mm. They just don't keep it balanced. And there are a few in Canada, quite actively involved. How have they taken to you in terms of your type of comedy and your type of... I don't really care. I don't care about people who... Can I swear on this show? Yeah, you can. We can beep it. Okay. I don't care about people who don't f me. There you go. Right? Try to beep that. Yeah. If, if, you don't, <laughs> if you don't like it, you don't need to come. Yeah. But I've grown my own community and people who do f with me, who like me, who, uh, who understand me. Uh, whether we agree or disagree, it doesn't matter. They're there but for that moment to enjoy. To enjoy it, it's, it's comedy. Yeah. Right? It's a reflection of my life and how I feel. It's a reflection of um, the things that I go through. So I'm not trying to impose or start, you know, change anybody's mind. That's what I always say. I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. Yeah. Right? I'm just being me, right? Do people expect you to be funny 24-7 in this scene? Oh, like, that's like, the Sundar, Sundar. <laughs> Don't you feel like just hammering them? Uh, <laughs> every time I say I'm a comedian, so tell me a joke. <laughs> Like any other profession, any other profession. If it's a bartender, you're gonna ask them to make a drink. I know, just you know, I've nowhere. actually said it. Wherever I go, if there's something that they need to announce, they always say, "Danu." Yeah. So I said, "What if I was, you know, paid by the hour?" Would they say, "Can we have you for an hour?" I literally say, "Pay me, and I'll tell you a joke." I don't <laughs> care. That's true. I don't care. That's true. Yeah. But you know, you know, uh, there's this uh, very common in. Um, the Jaffna Tamil community. Yeah. So, that's any Tamil community. <laughs> Don't single out the Jaffna Tamils. Any Tamil but people. I have only dealt with them. So oh, I've dealt okay. with all of them all across right. the world now. So <laughs> and I realized that oh, it's not just a Jaffna yeah. Tamil. It's a Tamil people thing. Indian yeah. Tamils, Malaysian Tamils, they're all the same. Yeah. It's just the accent changes. But yeah. for the most part, it's all the same. Most of it is the same thing. Yeah. And it's, it's annoying, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you get used to it. It's also love. It's not <laughs> that like... That is true. It's, it's coming not, from it a good place. It comes from a good place. Yeah, so you can't it just get, comes around the wrong way. Yeah. And obviously, yeah, sometimes it could piss you off, but most of the time I'm just like, just relax. Amazing. If you have not checked his content out, you should. We're getting to a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. want to speak about uh, one of the biggest things that has also made his comedy stand out is the fact that he's open about his sexuality and that has been spoken about. We'll speak more about it when we do come back, especially because we're in Sri Lanka. Danu on fire, powered by Celeste Daly. Missing something? She's a Celeste. Thank you to our friends at RBPI Ayurveda for joining us as our title partners on Danu on Fire. Now, if you're someone who has aches and pains or you're feeling not so fit, you want to get the right expert with professional Ayurvedic specialists helping you through this process. Now, you don't need to go in search of this brand all the way to Anuradhapura. You can get it right here in the heart of Colombo, making it so much more easier. They also have these amazing plans. You can dine and enjoy some good quality food that's great for your gut. So why don't you check out RBT Ayurveda today? Welcome back to the show. We are speaking to Sundar V uh, on Down on Fire. And I wanted to ask you, what brings you here to Sri Lanka this time around? Uh, I'm here for, to see family, family okay. and friends. Uh, I was just finished up my India tour um, and then came here to go see family and friends. First and, time. And what, oh, it's your first time? First time going with my mom to North uh, and seeing all where she grew up and all that. So. How was it? It was really nice, yeah, really nice to see the places and things like that. Um, nobody's there now, but still But nice. just to see the soil. See the soil. <laughs> <clears throat> and um, let's speak about the fact that uh, you coming out as a queer person and speaking about it openly, especially with the Tamil community, how was it accepted? Um, it's been all right. Yeah, I, mean, I, I can't say I've uh, felt a lot of... I think it's because I do it through comedy. It's not as uh, difficult a conversation to have. Um, and like I said, I'm just talking about my own experiences. And 
I think there's so much else we can relate on, mm. even if the sexuality is not the, the same. So True. the upbringing, the, the Tamilness, the uh, being a child of refugees, and all of these stories that are unique to me connect with other people in different ways. Uh, so I think that's what resonates with people, and it's just, oh, just another thing that's different about me and unique about me. So it's not like difficult to have this conversation. Obviously, there's haters. There's that's comments true. and people telling me to die, but yeah. um, that's not uh, just just <coughs> all the way there. That just yeah, yeah, that just comes with the territory, right? Okay. So uh, you know, that's with any any level of public life. That's what you expect. So for the how, most part, the reception has been good because it's through comedy. That's amazing. Yeah. How was it for your for you to have this conversation with your family? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been it's been challenging. Obviously, it took me thirty years to do it. So uh, when it did happen, it was. Uh, you know, challenging you know, and something that I built out my parents to to accept and understand. And then the other level of it is is like, okay, you're 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 out and and all that, but why do you have to be public about it? Why do you have to do comedy? Why do you have to tell the just, world about it? Just, just keep constantly that, saying keep yeah. that thing private. Keep mm. that part private of yourself. And uh, so that's the other level of you know things that my parents are still adjusting to, um, and family is still adjusting to. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, I have to live my life, uh, so they will have to. Yeah. yeah. How was your response in India <coughs> for the shows? India has been incredible. Yeah. Um, so, what are the areas that you performed? So, I did Bangalore, Chennai, Bombay, and Delhi. Bangalore stand-up comedy is huge. Bangalore is, it was the best audience. Yeah, actually, uh, they are. Yeah. So, uh, I, my set is about 115, but I went on till about 140. Mm. Uh, they just wanted more, and like I got a standing ovation at the Did end of it. Did you perform at uh, Bangalore Club? Or? Yes, uh, Mayday in Bangalore. So it was yeah, okay. and, uh, about 180 people came. Okay. Uh, best audience, so sweet, a lot of queer people, mm. um, and just uh, so accepting and so loving. So it was, India was uh, it's my second time going to India, uh, first time doing this one hour of Anani, um, and the reception's been incredible. So mm. uh, I couldn't have asked for more. Yeah. This Abhinani is, are you this person is what it's, yeah. um, tr the translation to it. Um, what does it predominantly cover? You? <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah, Abhinani, it, it's actually from a Tamil film. Uh, mm. It's a comedy scene from Vadivil uh, in, a, in a movie where uh, he's in this predicament or situation where uh, he asks uh, a reporter actually, mm. Abhinani, like, are you, are you that funny one? Yeah. And Abhinani ever since then has been used as sort of a derogatory way mm. of making fun of queer people to yeah. say, oh, you're weird, you're funny, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Uh, in Sri Lanka, they say funny, right? Uh, he's a funny one, no? <laughs> yeah. Funny fellow. <laughs> funny fellow. Yeah. So, uh, same thing, the same context as yeah. Abhinani. So, uh, I named my show that because, uh, yeah. I am. So <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? Yeah. Um, and it's kind of reclaiming uh, that sort of phrase that's been used in a negative mm -hmm. way to say, yeah, I am me. Um, I have so many aspects of my life that make me. Yeah. So uh, yeah, take it or leave it. Yeah. Amazing. Um, you have also worked with other comedians. Mm -hmm. Tell me about any other Tamil comedians who have like reached out to you. Yeah, um, quite a few uh, friends now on Instagram, um, and uh, who else has reached out? Uh, I just recently, Ramesh Ranganathan, mm. uh, we've just connected on Insta, so we haven't met in person yet, but that's like the biggest Tamil in comedy, yeah, so uh, that's validating. But also a lot of Indian comics, uh, Adam Dese from uh, Chennai, who's uh, a big comic as well, opened for him in London and Toronto. Uh, he was a big part of helping out, helping out with the India tour as well. Um, so a few Sri Lankan comics have reached out, uh, a few Malaysian comics. So uh, it's been it's been really good that people are recognizing uh, and uh, supporting me. So and also it's brilliant that you were able to find space in comedy for Tamil comedy. Yeah, and it's it's it's, it's a very niche market. One hundred percent, it's yeah. niche. But uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, our audience don't like to laugh in public as well. Yeah, right? that's the other <laughs> thing. They're uncomfortable. <laughs> so. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> and no, say it on, uh, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, that's the other thing with the, the diaspora that's been displaced uh, uh, by the war, and uh, that's my key market. Um, and not because of you know, obviously it's great to make money, but um, more importantly, I want to reach my people. I want to talk to 
people who have the same experience as me, um, who are displaced, who have grown up in the West, uh, but have this struggle with identity and who they are as, a, as people who've uh, grown up without that part of the life and you know, have that generational trauma and things like that uh, that they carry with them. So uh, that's what my show is about, um, and it's connecting with uh, with everybody, not just those people, but outside of that, the Tamil people. And it's relatable been... in many ways to a person. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, trauma is trauma in any form. 100%. And if this could heal, this will help heal anyone, which is amazing. All right, I have to speak to you when we do come back. We have to take a break. But, um, you know, when you come from a Tamil family, uh, somebody actually told me this. In no Alambriya, that's what they told me as my job. If you don't know, Alambriya means you're jabbering something. That's what we heard as your profession. Mm -hmm. Because they feel <laughs> this is just a born to a doctor and what mm -hmm. the hell are you doing? So uh, it's really hard to fathom uh, my son is a comedian. What? <laughs> yeah. So there's always a problem. How was that? What did you want to be? Mm -hmm. I'll speak about it when we do come back to Instagram. This is the part. Danu on fire, powered by Celeste Daly. Missing something? Just Celeste. Thank you to our friends at RDT Ayurveda for joining us as our title partners on Danu on fire. Now, if you're someone who has aches and pains or you're feeling not so fit, you want to get the right expert with professional Ayurvedic specialists helping you through this process. Now, you don't need to go in search of this brand all the way to Anuradhapura. You can get it right here in the heart of Colombo, making it so much more easier. They also have these amazing tires. You can dine and enjoy some good quality food that's great for your gut. So why don't you check out Aditya Ayurveda today? Welcome back to the show. would like to say a big thank you to our friends who are hosting us today, Bombay Borough. Uh, they have a brand new menu out. You need to come check it out. Not only the food, but also the drinks. They're lavish portions. They're like that. You have one and you're out. It's that good. So uh, we're speaking to this very talented man all the way from Canada who's taking a flight this evening, but somehow squeezed an appointment for me. Uh, have you enjoyed Sri Lanka? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, good to see family and friends, like I said. Um, so, What do people in Canada or wherever you have been to think about Sri Lanka? Say it. <laughs> no, it's a, it, uh, obviously it's, it's home um, to a lot of people. So uh, there's always that sentimental value that Sri Lanka You're being very modest. Hmm? You're being very modest. I'm being very modest, is it? So Just yeah. unfilter yourself and Unfilter say myself. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, people who unfilter themselves here find themselves in trouble. So uh -huh. I probably won't do that. No, actually, you know, I, I say the worst things. <laughs> do they say that we are, we are boat catchers and all? No. Boat catchers? Yeah. What do you mean? The, you know, that was when we had Peter Kuru on the show. Uh, from Australia, yeah. <laughs> like when he used to cook Sri Lankan food for the Aussies, they used to be like they're boat catchers. Like we no. used to just hop on boats and get to Aussie. No, yeah. I think most of the diaspora makes fun of the Colombo Tamils, though. Oh my God! And Colombo people are just, like I, I have a character about Colombo people. Ah, tell me. Yeah, it's Colombo Karen, and she's Colombo Karen. Colombo Karen, yeah. She's just like this over-the-top, rich Colombo type. You know, Tamil. likes to go out. Yeah, right. Lives in her own bubble. Yeah. Right, that, yeah, we have a few. Yeah, yeah. quite a few. Uh, have you met anyone there? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Based on real people. Oh, everything oh, yeah, is yeah, amazing. Yeah. Yes. All right, so you know, uh, there's also a backlash when you do comedy precisely on a community of people. So I do a character called Jaffna Boy, and it was always like you know, like one of the videos that really did well for me was what are you wearing? Um, um, what's her name? Uh, Biden's Kamala. Kamala. What are you wearing, Kamala? Because of the inauguration, I didn't want her to go in a sari and yeah. expose her stomach during the winter. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, that. So, but the problem is they always say, "Oh, we we don't talk like that." What is? But of course, when it comes to like a play or a skit, you have to overact it a little bit. Yeah, that's yeah. when it's funny. Yeah. You know, that's when it's. How was the Tamils more? reacted to you like when you took a dig at them 
I, well, I talk about my own people. So when you talk about your own people in the... In I thought like, I was talking about my own people only. Maybe it wasn't ac accurate. <laughs> this is how accurate you can get. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't faced any backlash because really? everything... I, yeah, I mean, I, I talk about my own people in my own way. So I haven't had that sort of an issue. Oh. Um, so it just might depend on your audience and who's, who's criticizing true. you. But it's often the people who are not part of that community who get offended, I find. Do you, have, do you ever see that? No. No? I feel like the ones who are here were cool, but the ones who are like in Canada were more fit, uh, offended. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I could yeah. see that. Yeah. yeah. You're part of the problem for me. Am I part of the Maybe. <laughs> so, before we went to the break, I wanted to speak to you about your career choice. Um, what did you want to be? What did I want to be? Uh, I worked in banking for 10 years. Banker. Uh, yeah, ah, so, good, good. Uh, I fulfilled Solid salary and all. Ah, yeah, yeah. I fulfilled all my parents' dreams of uh, going to university, uh, you know, doing the track, being a, a good boy, mm. and getting a good job. Uh, then I moved to London, worked for there, uh, worked there for a few years. So I had a really good career in that sense. Um, but uh, taking the decision to make this full time was it a hard one for you? It was, but it also kind of happened. Uh, mm. So I actually lost a job because of my comedy. Um, I had applied to a new job and that job offer was rescinded based on my social media. Uh, so I, you know, I was upset at the time because this was a big career decision for me and I was like, how are they going to take something that I like away from me like that? Oh, uh, they didn't like the fact that you were doing comedy? Yeah. So oh. it was very weird, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, now it's been a year since I'm doing this full time and it continues to grow. I've been going all over the world. Um, and uh, financially, it's not as lucrative as banking yet, but uh, It's rewarding though. It's rewarding, yes, it's yeah. rewarding. And I, and I get to meet people, right? And if you look in the North and East, there's, uh, uh, there's no, uh, a lot of the diaspora that's been displaced is now abroad in mm. Europe, in the UK. And so I go to all these places and we find out that, oh, like we're just in, in, in Sri Lanka, we would be you neighbors, know, neighbors, uh, or relatives. But now we're <laughs> across the world, yeah. um, so that's kind of nice to see the community uh, in different places and realize that our cultural differences aren't that different. Yeah. You know, with the things that we think are unique aren't that unique when uh, when I go to you know Norway or Switzerland or uh, the U.S. or anywhere, uh, you find those people and you're like, wait, we're the same. We've had the same upbringing. We've had the same cultural context. Um, so there's so many different ways we connect in that sense. So that's very rewarding for me. That's amazing. Um, I think if you can, and when you have the power to make somebody smile or laugh, it's the biggest gift yes. because anyone can give a sad story and make someone's day feel so down. But when you uplift them in some way, it's, it's a blessing. So mm -hmm. I think that's what you have. And more than that, I think, see, I always say the act of war, apart from the whole element of people dying and so much of hurt and sadness, there was also one thing that we lost a lot of talent in our country. Mm -hmm. They left our soil and they moved away. But it's amazing to know that you still recognize yourself for your Sri Lankan authenticity and you have taken it to the world and still spoken as a proud Sri Lankan Tamil and that's remarkable. My Tamil authenticity, uh, I, I want to you know, be, be clear on my identity and yeah. it's, it's Tamil and I'm very proud to be Tamil and I do Tamil comedy and that's what's taken to me where I've taken it, not my Sri Lankan identity. I don't have a Sri Lankan identity. Yeah. I'm a Tamil Canadian, right, displaced by the war. And uh, the reason I'm doing well is because of that authenticity that comes from being Tamil mm. and comes from being the north, uh, from, uh, from the Northeast. And I'm very proud of that. No, and I brilliant. think that everybody, all Sri Lankans, should recognize that sort of talent and that sort of cultural relevance mm. that we could bring to this country. No, that's true. Um, and so uh, I'm very proud of that. And I, that's what's connecting with me with all over the world, in India and, and, uh, and in the diaspora as well, is that Tamil identity and Tamil language. Um, that uh, that uh, deserves more respect globally. Amazing. I'm always proud to say that, you know, this little island home has so many people. If you see his work, I think you could be more inspired to go out there and do more work and find what your true passion is and do it. We have one bloody life. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so very much for being here. I'm so happy that I had you on the show. Absolute fan of your work. So my aunt was so excited that he was here, but just to let you know, if you want to have a piece of him, you can because he's touring uh, Europe and also... UK and Europe? That's amazing. Globally. And it's 
globally. You can check him out on sundari.com. That's it. That's the website. You can buy those tickets that you need so that you can see his tour that's quite active these days. So back onto the road as you get back to Canada? Yep, I get back, uh, start in Oslo, and then end in UK for my biggest show ever on April 26th. So oh, all the Tamils, all the Sri Lankans, wherever you are, you should come to my show in London. Uh, and I'll see you there. Brilliant. On that note, we need to wrap things up. Do check out the sizzling hot menu here at Bombay Borough. Till then. Thank you to our friends at Aditi Ayurveda for joining us as our title partners on Done On Fire. Now if you're someone who has aches and pains or you're feeling not so fit, you want to get the right expert with professional Ayurvedic specialists helping you through this process. Now you don't need to go in search of this brand all the way to Anuradhapura. You can get it right here in the heart of Colombo, making it so much more easier. They also have these amazing plans. You can dine and enjoy some good quality food that's great for your gut. So why don't you check out Aditya Ayurveda today? Danu on fire, powered by. Celeste Daily. Missing something? Just Celeste.